All right, folks, the deck is Galakrond Shaman. The goal of the deck is to make a powerful board in the early game, thanks to cost reduction from Clownfish and a bunch of Murlocs, working our way towards the Galakrond Invoke effects like Corrupt Elementalist that uh, also make a big board so that we can slam a gigantic Galakron the Tempest and instead of going infinite with Shutterwalk, just repeat that effect to create layers of threats and do a bit of burst damage if we have Astalor in the pool. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Uh, first Paladin of the day, and we're about three hours in. Seems about right. Turkey seems okay for early game. Doesn't really work out all that well with the Bolner, but. Well met. New land. Thank you for the prime. Is this uh, Reno Paladin? So to the person that asked why Zentima was on the deck, um, this is why. Galakron's online. That was quick. I, maybe I should have killed that, but that's what next turn is for, right? <laughs> I was just about to say, it's not like they're running silence. It doesn't change all that much because the Bolner got silenced anyway, so it's not like we get the, uh, the value off of him another turn. I do lose the weapon, which I wouldn't have equipped right now, but... Did you enlighten me as to why Bolner is better than Bran? Uh, yeah, Bolner costs one less mana. I hope this fits on the ship. Armor! Armor! Lightly and start! 
Ho! So glad I didn't take the coward's line of Flurgle into talks there. Wow, that was uh, maybe the worst possible outcome. Certainly up there. Pretty hard not to die here, isn't it? For the opponent, at least. This rock guild death rattle is kind of nutty. Looks like it needs to be a Reno. Hey, welcome, Jessica. I can't feel good. I've played a sleep breaker, so. You think this is enough, Astalors? I wonder what they even discarded. I didn't really check. <laughs> Probably a lot of good cards, though. Do you play Astalor? Uh, no. Why do you ask? My Opponent doesn't, either. At least not anymore. Come on, Astalor, you are so horrible at this! <laughs>
kind of want to full keep this hand. It's pretty good into Pig Breast. Hello. Maybe the thighs won't be endless this time. Just need a Zentimo now. Let's hold back. I'm gonna grab my board with the uh, Elementalist anyway. I don't want to run into board space issues if I need to Florgal Tox or something along those lines. Should be the essence turn. They have the coin. Yeah. Need to think about whether I. This probably has to be a devolve, right? Just so that I don't get. Uh, I don't want them to continually bring back stuff, and I want to save the wind chills for um, the Neptulon. Well, what Neptulon, I guess. Batnepchillin? Eh. Stats is stats. Stats was stats. push with. It's just something to spend my mana on. Going wide like this is for the potential Rock Gill top deck. I have near infinite boards, so I'm not really worried about them clearing my board repeatedly. Go get him, Rot Jill. comes for me. I don't understand how the opponent is anticipating a win from here. 
other than just like removing my well a mistake I should have done this in the other order. By all the elements. Buy them all, chat. All of the elements. Why right, would the order matter? Because it, uh, you can get the... I think you can get the one that you select the first time for the hero power. You can't get the second one. Unless you can't get either, then it doesn't matter. Hello, yes, I'd like some elements, please. Is there a bogo sale going on? Uh, no, we only have elements here. Sorry. Uh, but you can and just did, in fact, purchase some elements. So congratulations. You won. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits. Neptulon, are you hiding in there? This is just embarrassing for the opponent. <laughs> this is not the time that you want to be playing an Illuminate, my god. Congratulations. You've... That's Neptulon? It's been enhanced since turn one. Hunter. I see you brought guests. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. Yep. Sorry, cute cat. Oof. Really open gun. The time has come. Don't throw our former master. Wait, they know I have the piranhas, though, don't they? Oh. Wow, that's pretty good. Ah. Wow. Why this is a good deck. God, I'm just um, killing so many cute minions right now. And I do not have answers to their big stuff at the moment. So I am still very much in danger. This deck feels uh, 
it's quite a bit different when you don't draw the Murloc draws. Well met. <laughs> oh, Prudius, thank you for the sub. Do you think Blizzard will ever do anything to decrease Wild Berry of Renty? Wild Berry's turn past sets into purchable adventures, etc. Uh, no, but I wish they would. I don't think that Wild Bundles, unless they're at a significant discount, would actually be a good solution either, though, because bundles tend to be expensive. Like, it's unfortunate but that the barrier to entry is so high because over the long term... Like, the wild format is cheaper. Unfortunately, that's probably why they won't ever do anything to make it more accessible. Oh, oh my god, that's such a good hit. Yeah, and wild packs in general are pretty awful, so like it would have to be something like they do with the solo adventures or the mini sets where they make it so that you get everything at a reduced cost, but I don't think that that's realistic to expect, unfortunately. Blizzard could be less greedy for sure. I mean, it would be... They can't, though. <laughs> is the unfortunate reality. They have an obligation to their shareholders to make as much profit as possible. So, unfortunately... I don't have a way to get to that. Unfortunately, as a public, a tr publicly traded company, they do not, or they cannot, uh, be less greedy. It is the nature of being a publicly traded corporation. By making things cheaper, more people will buy, more people buy faster growth and more money in the long run. Uh, potentially, but I'm sure that they've already done that. Like, I'm sure the eggheads that are paid to determine pricing that makes them the most money have done the math to determine the pricing that makes them the most money. And yeah, it's true. If anything, like the the game has become more accessible over time, too. Potentially because of that point, because there there's more competition. Within uh, digital card games right now, so they have to like try and lure players back in with like the returning player bundles and whatnot. Don't know about Disney and Hollywood. About that, Disney and Hollywood are still making terrible movies and making less and less. Is that true? I, got more than I think Disney is probably doing just fine. And didn't Avatar like almost make a billion dollars or something ridiculous like that? Well, here's another Zentima pop-off turn. Chat loves backseating so much they've moved on to backseating multi-billion dollar corporations on how to make money. <laughs> oh, best comment. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. <laughs> it's
It's already at 1.5 billion. To be fair, this was like a week or so ago. And also, I think that it did like need to make a billion dollars just to break even or something stupid like that. I don't know. <laughs> that was just a funny comment. When is your tax filing stream, Roffel? We have some <laughs> thoughts about your deductions. Taxes? I paid those last year, it's fine. I'm sure Blizzard would find this funny too. I mean, I don't know how to tell you this, but like, Blizzard isn't one person, right? It's a it's a group of several different people with different opinions and different feelings. No, it's one giant money-grubbing entity. You seem like a pleasant person. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over to this screen where there's a, a Hearthstone game going on. Uh, it's just spoken like somebody who's never had the unfortunate reality of working in corporate America. Clearly, Raffle is just afraid of chat unionizing. Yeah, that wouldn't go well for me. I like to make sure that my chat is working at least 12 hours per day. Okay, I think we solved the Big Priest matchup. Just watch as they draw all of their minions. Uh, probably need to go to Astalor. Early Mutanus could be good as well. Holding the fish is pretty good for, like, playing around Mutanus, identity theft, and all that kind of nonsense. I want to play one of the these. Fortunately, I can't get away with playing the uh, Swarmer here, can I? Or rather, the... Uh, Ravager. I should maybe should have just played the Okani. Got about dirty rats as well. That's a great outcome for me. You 
This is my suggestion. Wait, that was ridiculous. Uh, that, oh, that's actually going to be, like, a really consequential outcome. Because not being able to take that Zeph off the board could come back to haunt me. the Zeph recovery, although it wouldn't have been terribly likely just because of how many minions they've had die after that. They at least hit some of their minions. There we go. Yeah, could have been worse. Ha, this guy's toast. card draw right now and they're going to kill this so it's beneficial to get taunts or totems it's fine none of these cards are super critical so like theotar is annoying here it takes the wind chill but like i don't think that's a game winning snag is it wait what how good must have their other cards been? Which means I'm just going to say onto the Theotar, right? I don't understand ever giving Seance away with it. like. Thank you to legendary supporters Battlefly, Brian Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Cathandrian, Nate Drex, Saga, Shadow1TV, and Sognisman. 